Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a next generation mobile home. Building homes off-site isn't exactly what I would call a new idea, but lately a lot of companies have been coming at it with fresh eyes, resulting in a new spin on an old concept. It doesn't matter if you like the companies that have been in this game for decades, the new age companies, or something in between, there is a lot going on in off-site construction all around the world, and it's fascinating to watch. Believe it or not, it wasn't all that long ago there was a stigma attached to homes that were built off-site, but now I'd argue, if anything, building in a factory is on trend. One change I've noticed lately is a trend of homes pushing past modern into futuristic and I think they'll appeal to a whole new demographic of people. It's a trend within a trend. The company I'm talking about is called Q. Yes, like usual, probably butchering the pronunciation, but their lineup of futuristic mobile homes is something you don't want to miss. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, show you their models, and answer the most important question of all, how much? After studying prefab homes for many years and making use of their own experience in the industry, Q started drawing the lines of what would become their first model back in 2017. That's not real. I drew that. I don't actually have access to their first drawings. When I say there are new companies entering the space, it's not like they decide they want to build prefab homes in July and start shipping them out in August. It takes a wee bit of planning to get the companies up and going. Their mission is to bring the future of mobile homes closer to society, providing luxury apartments with luxury finishes, fully equipped with the latest technology. They believe the future of housing lies in prefabrication, that the factory construction process reduces the ecological footprint and offers workers in the construction sector a series of advantages in terms of handling, schedules, weather conditions, and safety. Their homes are designed to be lived in all year round, any of the four seasons of the year. The selection of materials used has been thought out to maintain a futuristic design aesthetically in harmony with the environment in which they're going to be placed. There are currently three models available in four different editions. This usually isn't a math channel but that means we're looking at a total of 12 options to choose from. The additions are color schemes that apply to both the interior and exterior of the homes named after the four seasons of the year. Summer is a light gray, fall a light brown, winter is the darkest, and spring is basically summer but a bit different. Sounds about right. Out of the four schemes, I think by far the coolest looking is winter, but if I was getting it for myself, I'd probably opt for summer. Or maybe I'd see if they'd let me get the winter exterior with the summer interior. Colors and decors aside, they're also putting some pretty nice features in these homes. They come with a home automation unit to control the curtains, smart home panels for underfloor heating, an app to control lighting, smart locks, an exterior EV plug, and built-in appliances including fridge, washer dryer, microwave, ducted AC, a 55-inch smart TV, and a Sonos sound system. They're decked out, okay? Q had a grand opening of their showroom this week, so they're getting ready to send this thing into orbit. Like I said, they have three options available, so let's check them out. The smallest model offered by Q is called the Pocket. It isn't gonna take people very long to figure out why this model is called the Pocket. It's the size. That, that's the reason. The pocket clocks in at just 204 square feet, so definitely one of the smaller options available in the space. The description says, the Q pocket is our most compact and versatile mobile home. Conceived as auxiliary housing to expand Q or to be used in the tourism sector, this model is ideal to be located in modular resorts, campsites that are looking for a product with quality and design, or for a boutique hotel that seeks to locate luxury spaces in difficult to build landscapes. Elements such as the porcelain folding table or the the Italian sofa bed allow rooms to be converted to adapt to each moment of the day. The glass bay window located in the bedroom also houses the shower and is equipped with smart glass to allow light to pass through or ensure privacy depending on the time of use. Back up the truck, a bay window that doubles as a shower. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, a bay window that doubles as a shower. That would take some getting used to. Don't get me wrong, I think this is a cool feature, especially if you can see out at all while you're in there, but I'd be checking the outside looking in to make sure you can't see in a few times before jumping in. Cool feature. As much as I'd like to spend the rest of the video talking about the bay window that doubles as a shower, I can't, so let's move on. First of all, I like this layout. For only 200 square feet, I'm actually a bit shocked at how much they managed to fit in. They're using a technique that I'm seeing more often lately where spaces have multiple purposes. In a very small space like this one, it's out of necessity because there isn't room for a living room and a bedroom, but it works nonetheless. One of the suggested uses for the pocket is to be used with another one of their models. So next. The next model from Q is called Q, keeping it simple. 
I like that. The queue is just a hair under 400 square feet at 398. It has more space for those looking for it, including a full bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and dining room. The description says, the standard model of our Q mobile home is designed to be inhabited all year round with all the comforts in a unique setting. Its retractable rooms optimize the space so that one or two people can live comfortably all year round. Elements such as the porcelain folding table, the sofa bed, or the retractable desks allow the rooms to be converted to adapt them to each moment of the day. The walkable glass bay window fills the rooms with light and maintains the relationship of the inhabitants with the outside, allowing them to enjoy the landscape behind the insulation that ensures the energy efficiency of the queue. Unfortunately, no bay window shower in the queue. This is an interesting layout. I like what they've done and here's why. Even though it appears there would be enough room to bind the kitchen with the living room, that's not where they put it. The kitchen is combined with the dining room and there's a sitting area in the bay window. The living space is shared with the bedroom and when you think about it, that does actually make a lot of sense. As I was sitting planning out this video, I thought about how many times I went into my own bedroom after waking up this morning. I counted one and it was to change my shirt. That's it. Think about it, 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., bedroom, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., living space. It could work. The final model in the current Q lineup is called the Family. The Family is very similar to the Q, but they snuck a set of bunks in the hallway. I've got half of mine to get the Family for myself and just sleep in the bunks. Who needs a bedroom? The description says the Q family model is the mobile home designed to enjoy your home with the whole family anywhere. With capacity for four people, the Q family has retractable rooms, yada, yada, yada. It goes on to repeat what they already said about the Q. Whenever I post a video about a home with a smaller footprint, I get a lot of comments about how it won't work for a family because there simply isn't enough room for people to sleep. So I do like this option in that space for more than two people. Does that mean it's gonna be comfortable for a family of six? No, of course not, but it does give more options. Before I wrap this thing up, I need to talk about the price. Q is located in Spain, but a recent press release says they're an option anywhere in the world. So I'm gonna post the prices in USD because that's where most people who watch my videos tune in from. The prices will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The Pocket starts at $41,000. The Q starts at $61,500. And the Family also starts at $61,500. Q has built out models and recently opened their showroom in Spain. Their lineup of small, almost futuristic homes offers a different option in offsite construction that I think will appeal to a lot of people who are looking for something a bit different. In order to stay on top of the very latest in the space, this video was recorded a couple days before their showroom opened. So I expect going forward, I will be able to access the footage of their show model and look at everything they got going on a little bit closer. I like the futuristic look of their lineup and will definitely be following along with everything they're up to over in Spain and will post any updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.